friends so now we are going to learn about breath first search so breath first search is also one of a very important concept that is usually asked in questions and if you don't know it so better know it so that you can impress your interviewers so what is breath first search so as the name suggests now so breath first search means something like i will give you a small example so let's take a breath first search a tree so now you have done in order pre order post order or kind of tra traversals so let's say we have 50 20 30 40 50 60 70 5 three 2 1 20 285 okay so this is a tree okay and i want to do breath first search so let me give you a taste of what it is so breath first search means now i will be traveling the breath so this is the breath this is one more breath or level and this is one more breath so what should be printed how should i explore this graph so i should go like this 50 one breath over then to the next level 20 30 70 then 10 5 3 2 1 200 85 85 so this is what is breath first search because i am now exploring the graph in a breath way i am going one complete breath then i am scanning and going one complete breath and now you see that this is very much different from any in order pre order post order traversal so now the question is how you will do it how to write a code that will perform for me this thing so we take the concept so what i see here is that okay how it is treated is that okay i have say node 50 now can you tell me which data structure should i use so that it will treat and go in this way that is okay i entered this one it should be processed first it is done here then i should enter this one it should be processed and that's the way it is going on third 70 should be inserted and it should be processed so you are getting hint of that we should use q and yes you are correct it is my dear q so what i do is now in a breath first search i will say that okay i start from this node 50 which is the source node okay and now what i do i maintain a q so i maintain a cute little queue and in that queue what will happen now so initially i should insert first source so 50 is there now what i should dequeue it okay and put that okay i have visited this i put 50 out of this one 50 comes here i print it and then what i do i now what i do that in a for loop for all neighbors w of b the vertex where i am now exploring so what i say so i will somehow i will say that in q in the q that vertex okay so i will in q now so 20 30 and 70 kind of this will be in q and let's see the code okay so we come here and see so we saw that okay somehow we are in queuing all those things we are doing so what we do here is let's see for all vertices w so what we did is initialize the queue so i initialized it visited the source i make it that okay i have visited it it's the first one and then in queue in the queue the source node okay now what happens 
while q is not empty so i have put one element i know it is not empty now and b is equal to dq q so i dq from that q print the element and then what i do again we were telling that somehow i want to process in the first come first serve so for all vertices w adjacent to b what we do if visited w is false that means i have not visited it yet then in q that in the q and make visited w as true okay so what it means now this is for and for so i in q it and then set visited is equal to true so i in q all the neighbors and then what happens this for loop ends here it goes to the while loop and is q not empty if it is not empty what i do i dq so now let's see the code so what here we were correct so i enqueued all of them and set what visit or visited w is equal to true something like a flag that okay i have visited it now so now what happens i am at 50 so i dequeued 50 it came out and now i enqueued 20 30 and 70 and say that okay they are also now visited kind of they are marked as explored so now what happens is that i now again say that okay in the for loop has ended i go to the while loop and while q is not empty so if q is not empty i dq so now which will will come so 20 will come and what happens is so it is now looking correct so it comes here as 20 and now what will i do so again the code will run and all for all the neighbors of w of p which is all the neighbors this one and this one so what it will do it will say that okay it will insert 10 and 5 here and then what happens now so this for loop ends and i again go to the while loop so while q is empty q is not empty now so 30 is dequeued so now 30 is dequeued and i go to the for loop for its neighbors and i in q 3 and 2 here and what happens now so 30 is now printed and then what happens is again so i come to the while q is not empty so q is not empty now what i do is 30 is already done so i take out 70 i print it here and then what happens at 70 i in q all its neighbors so 1 285 are now inserted and then what happens while q is not empty so it's not empty so i now dq 10 so now i dq 10 so we have now come to the third layer so now 10 and then again for all neighbors w so now i see a general pattern for none of them there are any neighbors so what i do is that okay now there is no neighbors so it they will all be just be dq so they will be 10 5 3 2 1 285 this is how the breadth for search will happen and in fact this is the question they will ask you one question good question is that you are given a tree and then they will ask you how will you print it level by level so this is the direct answer you will do a breadth for search so very fast i will move to one example here which is it is more complex than a tree and we will try to do a depth for search so again what happens now we have to know that okay we should start from some node let's say i start from node 1 so what will i do is that 
so at node 1 i will enqueue it in the queue so let's maintain a queue so i have a queue i inserted one in it now what i do i dequeue it so i get a one here but i insert all its neighbors so i insert so what are its neighbors six and seven so i insert six and seven and any more so five is also there so i insert let's insert it in the increasing order so five six and seven are inserted now in the queue and i mark one has now it has been done so now and what happens now so i will now go to while queue is not empty so queue is not empty i take you five here and what happens now so visited so i will also say that okay visited is true for this five six and seven and then what happens now i go to five i dq five and now i for all neighbors of node five i will enqueue it in the so what was the code let's see for if visited of w is false then only i enqueue so that's what so is now visited of one false no it has already been visited so it is not so i will not enqueue it so for five i enqueue one neighbor is nine and one is seven so i will insert seven and nine okay so i inserted for five i inserted seven and so this is actually four okay so i inserted four so this is four little bit of clumsy writing it is four so i inserted four and nine so now what happens and i mark them that okay i have visited them so now again i have i dq while queue is not empty so i dq 6 which was the element here so i dq 6 and then for all its neighbors that have not been visited yet so what are the neighbors that are not visited only 10 so i put in queue 10 there i mark it as visited so now what happens 6 has come out now it again dequeues and 7 comes out so for 7 what happens all the neighbors that have not been visited yet so what are the neighbors that have not been visited this is visited this is visited so 3 is not visited so I enqueue 3 there and now again so I come there is the queue empty no so I dequeue 4 here and I come to 4 for all its neighbors that are not marked so only 2 is there I mark it and I come here okay so 2 is there so now what happens again I come to the while loop is so Q not empty no it's not empty I DQ 9 from it and 9 is now DQ so what happens now so I will search for neighbors of 9 that have not been visited but I find that all its neighbors have been visited so nothing to enqueue here again I come to the queue DQ one more which is 10 and for node 10 I see that its neighbors 8 has not been visited yet so I enqueue it here and mark it as visited so now what happens now 10 is DQ so now I come and now DQ 3 so so I DQ 3 so it was visited already so now 3 has been DQ so I search for its neighbors that have not been visited yet and I find that it has no such neighbors so now 3 has been DQ so I come to 2 2 is now dequeued and none of its neighbors are now not visited so now 8 is dequeued so if we see so I have 1, 5, 6, 7, 4, 9, 10, 3, 2, 8 so this is the breadth first 
search of the given graph and this was the code that we saw so this is about breadth first search so i hope you understand it and you like this code if you have any question you can give it as queries in the comment section and if you like please subscribe to my youtube channel to watch more such videos